Hello everyone and welcome to the finals of the NNL Pro Tournament. I'm Alex Cunningham alongside William Marchese and well, it's been a long road, but we're finally here. I'm so excited right now. We are down to just four competitors, two men and two women. And by the end of these final two episodes, we will have two champions in our gauntlet competition. But who's it going to be? Well, it's up to you to decide. That it is. And as a reminder, because it has been a while, we have asked our competitors to send us two-minute grip gauntlets. And it's up to you to determine who had the best grip gauntlet. And we are going to start with the gentlemen, with True Becker and Matthew Hall. Well, I think we did a bad job of seeding because we have the seven seed and the eight seed, technically the bottom two seeds in this final round. You know, the thing with the seeding is that you what we really did was take eight very good competitors and you could have just ranked them in any order and it wouldn't have made a difference. I feel like the seeding was more just a technicality as far as a fair system of how to match them up instead of just completely randomly but let's be honest you could have put any of these eight people in the number one seed and i think most people wouldn't disagree with you because that's how strong this field was yeah that definitely makes sense and these two athletes were obviously seeded based on their season five performance in season six in matthew hall's second season with the adults true becker's first they both made the top 10 at our world championship and both made it to stage three. So it just goes to show you how strong these athletes are. Well, we've been seeing, I would say, the past two years uh, just how good the youth of Ninja has become. And these two men are shining examples mm -hmm. of that youth. Certainly. Well, let's get things started with True Becker. You're up first. Go. What's up? I'm True Becker, I'm at my backyard course again, and this is my final round grip gauntlet for the NNL Pro Tournament. And away we go. Already some links on birdhouses. I've never seen that before. Wow, that's very impressive to link between some moving cliffhanger-like grips like that. And some quick precision hops here onto, I believe that is a vertical limit. Yes, it is. Yes, yes it is. Oh, that always makes me happy and goes back and forth. Good. Looks like he has a lot of practice on that obstacle, judging by the paint removal around <laughs> it. I would hope so. Nice lache, and he is on to some uh, nunchuck nunch hooks. I assume he's just going to jump. Yes, he does, but that was kind of a crooked jump, actually. Yeah, but he still made it, and at the end, that's what matters. He's got a hook, and he's, he's jumping. This is, this is really hard, because you have to take that hook under and then thrust it across. And he was able to do that with... Honestly, he made it look good the entire time. Now it's like we're going to cannonball to pipe. Big pipe. Holds on. Doesn't even reverse grip. That's impressive. Oh, right off the cliff, too. He yeah. is going and going. He's definitely adding a mix of hard grips and hard lache. So I like this. Nice sideways grab. About halfway done with this time. Onto the jug. Now I want to okay. see some big moves here. I know it's the end of the gauntlet. I know his grip has to be taxing, but I want to see something big. This is the finals. Well, he's taking a quick rest to shake out. Let's see if he can use the rest of his time wisely. Looks like we're going to some cannonball hooks. Yeah. Yes, indeed. There we go. Now, this could be a real endurance, depending on how much time he spends on this. Switching over to the oh. second. Uh-oh, he dropped it. Backup plan. What's he going to? Do it, do it, do it. Going to the rock wall. No, the devil steps. Only a couple oh. seconds left. What can he do in the remaining time? His arms have Will gone straight. Ah, he's out of and time. He oh. There we go. True Becker headed back to his backyard course, and I thought he had a very good gauntlet. Indeed. I feel like it worked so well for him in the second round that he decided to just try it again you know stick with your home turf and he did some really impressive mix of tough grips and impressive difficult laches it was not an easy course to do by any stretch of the imagination and true did a almost flawless run through the entire thing 
Yeah, and I think you were setting me up for that finish. He had about 20, 30 seconds left, and I don't know what happened. I don't know if he had a plan and then just wasn't able to commit to it or he ran out of gas, but something happened there at the end where it just felt really underwhelming. I mean, this is the final round of the Pro Tournament, and his last 20 seconds, he really didn't deliver a bang. Well, there's the old saying of everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face. <laughs> And it seemed like True had a plan, and it looked like he dropped a, a cannonball, and he didn't really know what to do at that point, and got a little bit lost, and which led to the finish that we got. But, I mean, it was still overall an impressive run, just, you know, unfortunately, a little bit of a flat finish. Well, it was definitely impressive. Let's see what Matthew Hall has in his bag of tricks. Hi, I'm Matthew Last time I did gauntlet was very sad because whatnot. This time it's gonna change it up, make it like not static. Alright, well that proved successful last time, and here we're starting with the bunny ears. As seen in Worlds of Season 6. And there's the flyaway, and there's the link, and there's the big move. We knew he had it in him. A callback to round two. And there's a pipe slider for you, Will. Oh, uh, oh, oh. Uh, both, these, both these competitors are playing to my heart. On to some ring toss. I wonder if those cannonball pegs are going to be used Who knows? This gym has a lot of options, so it's always hard to tell where he's going to go. Well, nice lache there. On to the flying squirrel. Well, we already seen one backflip. Will we see a second? Moment of truth. Huh? I nope. faked out. Oh, backwards. Oh. He was going backwards. He had a soul fold. We've been tricked. And a sideways lache wow. into that wing nut. And you can That's see excellent wow. body control moving his body. It was in a circular motion and very quickly got it to a forward and back movement. So many people have trouble changing directions in midair like that but he was able to do it with ease really that was impressive and look at this it's a cliffhanger wing nut this is interesting on to some flywheels the second flywheel and he makes it on to the and a dismount lovely well will mr flyaway delivers again look sometimes you gotta give the people what they want people want backflips and that's what he gave them. But he's not just a one-trick pony. He had some pretty impress impressive moves along the way. And I think the thing that impressed me most was his body control, the amount of redirections he had, um, especially that uh, flying squirrel to the wing nut. Uh, he had to obviously change his body direction to go 90 degrees into the wing nut and then change his body 90 degrees again, which it seems like he did on a dime. Yeah, honestly, you know, as impressive as backflips are, don't get me wrong, they're very challenging. As far as something that you could actually see on a obstacle course for Ninja, that was, to me, the most impressive part of the whole thing. Just that body control that not everyone has, he was able to execute that pretty well. And in the spirit of fairness, I feel like Matthew, for the second straight round didn't really deliver like super tough grips it was very you know upper body heavy obviously it has to be but very lache heavy it was flashy which was fun and i like that he showed a lot of body control but i really would have liked to see you know some cliffhangers some vertical limits even just some basic holds or nunchucks i will agree with that uh true definitely in my personal opinion, had the advantage in terms of just raw grip strength obstacles. But in terms of the other factors, I mean, it can go either way. Well, I know that we don't have a say in this, but I know two people who would like to give you their say. Well, shall we? Uh, why not, gentlemen? All right, gentlemen, we have reached the end of the men's pro tournament. And once again, you are here to lend me your knowledge as we discuss the final round between True Becker and Matthew Hall. How are you doing t uh, today, sir? Great. So good, good to see you. Good. I'm glad. All right. Let's, let's start. We got two very different 
runs this time around. Let's start with Matthew Hall. Once again, bringing the Flash over at Ninja Quest. He did a he did a few crazy moves. Just Henry, right off the bat, what impressed you the most of his run? If you had to pick a singular move, what impressed you the most? My God, this kid's wow factor is insane. So, oh, so so we're going single move now. Okay, okay. I I, I ha- I'm going to have to go with. Oh man, there's so many that are popping through my head right now. Can I say two? All right, I'll go one. I'll go one. All right, we're gonna go with the cliffhanger wing nut. So dope. He was kind of like hated on a little bit for not like sh- like for being a little static and like maybe not showing his like fingertip strength and now he has this explosive wow factor course with everything he's done from the past he still has the flyaway regrab and now throws in so so the answer to your question was the single move that i liked the best was definitely the cliffhanger wing nut so dope and uh and lucio um one of the one of the criticisms that uh, we had for Matt in his second round was perhaps he didn't do enough uh, difficult, like slower pace, static key grips. Do you think you know it, it was obviously a faster pace run, but do you think he showcased some of that more grip strength uh, this time around? I mean, my biggest criticism of him on this one was that he left about like thirty seconds or, or give or take on the table. And although he did give us that wow factor and like all those impressive throw moves and the links and everything, I, I think he is also very much so known for those really impressive static feats of strength. And with that much time left on the board, like, I mean, my guy, like give us some of that, you know, like we still want to see that. Like, although it's really impressive to see a 180 flying squirrel and a, you know, a flyaway regrab, like I love that. That's great. But like, I also want to be like, wow, he did this insanely technical vertical limit move. Um, I mean, you can't overlook the pipe slider. That was also very technical. He he went right through the pipe slider and then linked right into a catch. I mean, another really technical move. He gave us the technical moves, but just give us like, I know you were saying you didn't want to go as much static that one, but like still give us some static, you know? And I felt like that was a little lacking for him this time. I could always appreciate a good uh, pipe slider. Moving on to True's run. So once again, he was in uh, the outdoor backyard course, uh, not in a gym, just like his second round. Um, So a lot of technical grips. Uh, Lucia, we're going to start with you. Uh, Did uh, True's grip work impress you? Oh, absolutely. Um, I think with True, the thing that's most impressive is him doing movements that are later on in courses that are insanely technical. For He's shown it to us in previous rounds, but like it's not like, oh, I did this one impressive technical move at the beginning, and if I failed, I would redo my video. It's like, no, he's doing these movements that are late in his course run and doing them successfully. And that, to me, is insanely impressive. That's like technical and it also is a wow factor because of that in and of itself like when you're taking the ice pick and you're able like it's literally barely hanging on the bar at that angle and able to pull it off and then like those aren't close gaps like he's not like a foot or two feet away like those look like those are at least five foot gaps that he's spanning with that ice pick super technical difficult movement and i mean his grip's obviously up there when he's hanging for that entire two minutes doing stuff like that. Right, right. And uh, and Henry, towards the end of the course, we did see True, unfortunately, drop one of his two cannonballs, and it was very clear that that was not the intended plan. Do you think he handled his backup well, or if there should have been some plan C that he should have gone for? Yes, you are correct. Well, in, say, in the latter. Um, he should have had a plan C. Um, there should have been something else there, but I, I don't think he expected to drop to drop it at the very end. Um, he obviously looked upset after he Lache dismounted. Um, and it was the very end of his run. So it's just like, do you do a retake at that point? Um, me, if you're in the championship round of, of this pro gauntlet, um, yes, you do a retake. You take maybe a rest day or whatever, or, or, or rest for, for rest for 20 minutes or whatever it takes, and you redo it. Um, but to answer your question, yes, I think he should have had a plan C. Uh, I don't. I couldn't see what he grabbed after he dropped it, but he just dismounted at that point. But again, 
True hung for legit. His hang time through that entire course was 2.06. Matthews was a minute 36. So I, I still give True credit for like having an amazing grip gauntlet. Like I'm not knocking it that much. Um, although it seemed like I did, but it was still amazing. It's now that point of the show where the two of you give your endorsements and try to persuade the viewers to vote uh, for your chosen man. Uh, Lucio, we're going to start with you. Matthew Hall, True Becker, who's your pick for the champion? I kind of alluded to it already, but I, although Matthew Hall gave us the big wow factor, um, I don't think he gave us enough of the static grip in this one. Um, I mean, he did have some good variety in grip, but just not what, what I was looking for. Um, I think True really hit most of the marks, although his wow factor was a little lower. All the points in the other categories were, were up there. Um, so when I'm looking at it, I'm giving it to True on this one. Even though you dropped the ball on that last move, at least you made up for it. You hung for the longer time. Matthew dropped early. True. Good work. All right. And Henry, who is your pick for the championship? Man, great minds usually think alike, but not tonight. Um, Matthew Hall um, gets this one, although this was very, very, very close. True, man, the difficulty level of your moves, it's super impressive. Oh, my God. Um, True's a beast. But um, when, I'm, when I'm sitting down and I'm watching Matthew Hall, I'm like, what is he going to do next? What is he going to do? What? 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 Are you serious? Like, that's how, that's how I feel when I watch Matthew Hall. Like, it's, it's insane. And, like I, like, I was not even expecting the 180. I really thought he was going the other direction. And then he still, he still has the one that got him to the championship. He still throws in the flyaway regrab. And like now it like wasn't even that impressive to me because he already did it. But like just the idea that it was still there, like his signature move, it just to me it was just like an amazing, an amazing, an amazing grip goal altogether. Sounds like the two of you are very passionate about your picks. And you know what? It's the championship, so I wouldn't have it. Send any other City versus Monstro. <laughs> Thank you all very much uh, once again for uh, lending me your insights one final time for the men's pro tournament and much appreciated as always. Thank you. This was a blast. Thank this you. entire thing was a blast and I would love to, this, love to do this again. It was so much fun. Same. Absolutely. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, for our grand championship for the men, our two experts cannot come to a consensus. They're split right down the middle which is good because that means we could really use your help in selecting a winner please go in the description down below click the link to the poll and vote on who you thought should be our very first male gauntlet champion remember you're voting based on who you thought produced the better performance and the person who receives the most amount of votes wins it is just that simple you have 72 hours from the posting of this video to vote, as well as said, link in the description. And I mean, I was very glad to see our expert split. Just goes to show you how strong these two athletes are. And I couldn't tell you who's going to win this one. But we will be back for another final matchup between our two remaining female athletes. And we will see you then. For William Marchese, I'm Alex Cunningham. We'll see you next time for the final final of the NNL Pro Tournament.